and welcome to another video. So today I'm filming a vlog because I've not done one in a while and it's going to be very exciting because today I've got quite a few things to do. So it's quite early in the morning now. Um, I'm about to head down to the yard and I need to see to Smokey but then I also need to do a bit of shopping, go to a local equestrian store. Um, I need to to lunch Smokey and also my friend is going to ride Lucy today and um, so she's one of the friend my friends from down at the stables um, and she can't ride her horse at the minute so she's going to ride Lucy for me today and um, so we'll see how she gets on but yeah guys I hope you enjoy the vlog let's head down to the stables so the first job I have to do when I get down to the livery yard is to fill Smokey's hay nets now if you've watched my videos before you'll know this is a job I absolutely hate doing but it is essential so today I was kind of still half asleep when I got to the yard um, so when I went in to hang Smokey's hay nets up I thought I'd locked the door but I actually hadn't um, so he very quickly noticed this and made a bit of a bid for freedom um, but luckily I did catch him before he galloped off out of his stable I could have ended rather badly with a loose pony on the yard. But once I'd safely secured Smokey in his stable and popped his hay nets up, it's then on to mucking out. Okay, so I've tied up Mr. Smokey because he nearly escaped um, and I need to muck out his stable. Now his stable is looking rather messy today and so is Mr. Smokey to be fair. Stable stains galore, that one but I'm waiting for the hot shower and solarium to be in use and they're not at the minute so that's driving me insane but time to get on and muck my dirty pony out So as I'm sure you're all aware by now, all the equipment that I use to muck out is from Red Gorilla. Um, uh, we all know that I'm a massive fan of Red Gorilla as well as being sponsored by them. So today Smokey wasn't too bad to muck out, he's been really bad recently in making his bed a real mess but that's because he's mainly living in at the moment so we can't blame him too much. But I basically just mucked out his entire stable, got rid of all his poos and all the wet and brushed it up and then it was time to fill his waters up this again is something i really don't like doing i wish he had an automatic water like the others at home but sadly he doesn't and in winter i'm constantly getting water on me and just generally freezing but once i'd done that and swept up i was all done and ready to head to the equestrian store to buy him some lickets to keep him occupied whilst he's living in So guys, I've done Smokey and we're going to head to the equestrian store now. I brought Lauren with me from the yard. Um, so she is one of my best friends on the yard and she actually has an Instagram as well. So it's best who forward. Um, check her out. The link will be in the description below. So we're going to go shopping now for some lickets because we need to keep the boys occupied. Happy days. <laughs> oh, they're nice. I like them. You have you? Yeah. Oh, I like them in the grey. So 
we had to obviously have a little bit of a browse around the equestrian store and don't worry guys this was filmed before lockdown because obviously you're not allowed to browse now you are only allowed to go in um, and grab the essentials you need and then leave um, but as I say this was before then so we did have a quick look around before we finally found the lickets And with all that shopping, we were getting a little bit hungry, so off to Mackey's we trotted um, to get ourselves some lunch. I'm getting you carrot sticks for your dinner. Do you not get me carrot sticks? Get any carrot sticks? No. <laughs> then you can share them. Um, with the horses? You can share them with um, Smokes. Carrot sticks for dinner? Winner? Do not order me carrot sticks! Order me carrot sticks. Mate, if you, if you put carrot sticks in that bag. Yeah. So, are you going to tell everyone what you got? She didn't get the carrot sticks, so she's allowed get the carrot sticks. a ride home, so I got a Big Mac. What did you get? Big Tasty. With bacon. Don't forget the... With bacon. Bacony bit. Just adding in, it in for the lols, you know? Carrots. Yummy. I hate you. Everyone loves a carrot stick. If you'd have bought me carrot sticks, you'd have been walking home. I wouldn't. You would. No, I wouldn't. You would. I really wouldn't. I'd sent you in there to buy me some <laughs> fries. Some car I'm gonna order some. <laughs> you can't just order carrot stick. Watch me. What are you gonna do with these carrot sticks? I'm not eating them. They're for you. I don't want your carrot sticks. We're not even in the collection bay anymore. You've not just spent 79p on some carrot sticks. Go parking number five, they're coming. Oh my god. Few moments later. Can you order a carrot yeah, thank you, sorry. Love. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, one carrot bag for Georgia, as requested. <laughs> the poor woman didn't know what to say. <laughs> I've just made one more go with carrots. So after lunch and after grabbing some carrot sticks for Smokey, it was time to head to my parents to ride Lucy. So today Lauren is going to ride Lucy. Lauren has a horse of her own, Fudge, um, who if you follow her on Instagram or her YouTube, you will see plenty of. Um, but at the moment she can't ride him. So I said, why don't you come ride Lucy? Um, so I tacked her up and I'm going to ride her first just to see how she's going. And then Lauren is going to jump on board and see how she gets on with riding Miss Lulu.
Lucy hasn't actually been worked um, consistently for about a month on and off just due to the weather. Obviously everyone's arenas keep freezing. Um, it's been really bad weather recently. So she was quite forward today um, and quite strong. So this is what Lucy used to be like. And when she's not in work, um, or a lot of work she kind of reverts back to how she was when she was younger so I don't know if you can really tell in the video but she was really quite strong with me um, and she does have quite a strong mouth when she's in that mood and um, she kind of like crosses a jaw which is why she has um, a flash on because she tries to get hold of the bit and it's her way of kind of doing as much work as possible quite quickly to kind of get out of it so it's kind of an evasion technique but all in all, she did still go pretty well for me. I was quite happy with her, and also I've not ridden her in a while, um, so it was really quite nice to jump back on her. So guys, Robin's gonna ride Lucy now. It's the first time she's ever ridden her, so we'll see how she gets on. So to begin with, I just walked around and kind of explained to Lauren the best way to get results out of Lucy. She's really not a straightforward horse. You kind of look at her and see a cob and think, oh yeah, you know, she's, she's quite straightforward, but she actually isn't. Um, she's one of these horses that if you kind of tighten up or get a bit anxious on her, she feeds off you straight away and will go quite forward and quite strong. Um, you kind of have to sit there, relax. And that's very difficult when you're on a brand new horse that you've never ridden before. Um, but Lauren did really well on her. And also Lucy was really strong today and she wasn't really listening all that much. Um, it's typical whenever you put someone on your horse, I feel like they always kind of like to show you up. Um, so I was really pleased with both of them. I think they both did absolutely brilliant. You'd say it was their first mini session together. So I have also said to Lauren that if she wants to come and ride Lucy in the future, she is more than welcome to because as I said, her horse is out of work at the moment. Uh, so I'm sure you'll see a lot more of Lauren in my videos and a bit more of their progression as their ride together if she chooses to in the future. But I think they both did really super today um, and you know, it was a really great start. So once we'd finished riding, I went and untacked Lucy as always, and you can see how cold it was. You could literally see our breath today in the stables. It was crazy. And we all know after we've ridden them, it's always time to give them a treat. Chili got a cheeky one, even though he did nothing because he's currently just in walk work. But Lucy did get a few sugar lumps for being such a good girl. And then it was time to head back to the livery yard because it was time to work Mr. Smokey. And the first thing I needed to do was to give my filthy pony a groom. Um, even though it doesn't really make much of a difference with his stable stains, but it's too cold at the minute to bath him without the solarium in use. So I just gave him a good brush down, trying to get as much of that dirt off as I can. He's currently living in the stable um, because turnout isn't an option at the minute due to the state of the fields. So he's just coming out to be lunged or ridden each day. So Smokey has actually had a makeover since this video and you will see that next Friday at 5pm so be sure to check that out guys. I will now be uploading a video every Friday at 5pm. There may also be a few bonus ones in the week so keep an eye out for those. But that is my new scheduled time for uploading is every Friday at 5pm. Right, enough rambling from me, let's get on and show you Smokey's lunging. He was very fresh, shall we say, today. Just walk nice. Diddy. Diddy, go now. Okay.
okay. The day. Go back and turn. Good boy, stand. I said it wasn't there. Get out, because I'm saving you out. Go on, out. Right down. Good boy. That's it, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Get on. So actually after his initial little bit of crazy pony where I had to let go of the lunge line because he was basically just kind of dragging me around the school, um, he did actually calm down and lunge really well after that. Sometimes he can just have days where he's got a lot of energy to burn, which is why I've been lunging him. But he is back under saddle now, so you'll see lots of that coming up soon as well. Again, guys, don't forget new videos every Friday at 5 p.m. So that is pretty much everything for today's vlog, but obviously we couldn't forget to give the boys their carrots. So Smokey and Lauren's horse Fudge both shared the carrot sticks bag that she insisted on buying me um, and they enjoyed it a lot. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on that bell icon so you get a notification every single time I post. I will see you all soon. Bye guys.